Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 96 of the Foster Child Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we are still working on Evie's serial romantic aspirations. So she's going to have her first three kisses. She has one more left. I, in the last part, had Nicholas write an excuse note for her. So she doesn't have to go to school because hopefully I did have success in inviting her. Oops, a member of the club over and she has a friendship with him. So we are going to share a secret and see how it goes. See if we can um, <laughs> to go downstairs. I have both of the kids set up to work on school projects so that hopefully they will get promotions or promotions like increases to their grade. So let's see. Let's try doing some a couple of romantic interactions. We're going to flirt. We're going to do the same thing with this, this little this boy. What's his name? Anthony. And uh, try and get another kiss and then we're going to ask to be friends. And then we'll be complete with the aspiration. Then we're going to yeah, swap her over to the serial romantic money. with the idea that in the long run she's going to marry. No, where are you going? Oh, you don't need to look after him. It's very nice of you <laughs> to look after him. But it's not necessary. He's eating there and I have... Let me see. Why don't you stop? over there and come over here and watch TV here so that perhaps little Micah can watch the TV there. And then honestly, when, so we're just going to take a little break from Evie <laughs> and Anthony. Just get them set up. I had her doing, they're all, they all go over to the only toddler left in the house for now. You got a painting done. Okay, why don't you sell to collector? And we'll just set you up to do another one, a realism one. You finished your painting. Why don't you sell it to collector? And then maybe you should do just some writing because the kids are busy with trying to get their promotions. I don't really want, maybe we'll just have you write an actual book and not do something for, let's do a children's book. So we got everybody set up. You were nice in a nice private space, and now you're heading out over here, and I don't want you to. <laughs> and I really want to get this kiss so we can get it over with and, and stop this and get you to finish the rest of your... Gosha, crim me down. <laughs> your aspiration. <laughs> and get you aged up and out of the house. Oh, we can ask if single. Well, that was there. I'm not going to reveal a crush. Um, we can exchange numbers. And... Blow a kiss before we try a first kiss. We'll see about holding hands if that works. And then there's the first kiss again. So hopefully we are successful with our first kiss. Our third first kiss. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they don't have a lot of pink yet. Oh, good. Almost missed that. Kind of got the tail end of it. Very good. Thank you. Let's wait for that to register. Good, we did it. We got it all done. So now we are going to not do any of those things. <laughs> we're going to go friendly. And we are going to ask to just be friends. Oh, and he's leaving anyway. So you can't leave. You have to wait. We have to. No, 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 no. Don't go yet. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> we need you to accept our ask to be friends we want to break this up with you before we age up because we can't break it up after we age up we need to do it while we're teen hey. a teen don't go away with the leg. Uh -huh. thanks for the first kiss but now we realize that clark is the one for us <laughs> this isn't for us oh so you have to have a strong relationship with three sims at once and then kiss oh. 10 sims. Yeah, that wasn't really. Anyways, so she's over oh, here. And um, so now she just has her, her one relationship left. So she needs emotional control and she needs some fun and she needs the hygiene. So we're going to have her. Let me do it. I think I must have. They were, I put them up for the picture. That's what I did. We're going to. Uh, we're going to take a thoughtful shower and then we are going to find a violin 
and we are going to play with emotion or maybe before we do well yes we will do that because the, she needs some fun did I I thought I left a violin down there <laughs> I'll just get another one <laughs> I just that's what I do. I misplace them and then I get more. And okay, so this is just the kids one. So we need to actually go into activities and skills over there. And we'll just buy, we'll buy a couple different color ones because we always seem to misplace them. And this is going to be kind of our, our music room. And then we'll just buy a regular old red one. And plus also sometimes I send them out of the house with them when they leave. So there we go. So you're going to come here and you are going to play with emotion and hopefully that will get you where we need you to be. So there we go. So now we can check in on Micah. So he has finished eating. He has pretty good uh, needs there. He needs some communication. So Jasmine's all set for going and he is just happy. So the communication is good to work on. So we're going to actually teach him to say please and thank you because that will help him with his communication skill and a little tiny bit with the manners which I've only just realized recently <laughs> would have been helpful to know that sooner so what are you doing over there you oh you should probably say goodbye now well maybe we'll actually ask to leave after since he was about to leave anyways we'll ask him to leave then we'll go down here and play oh with emotion so we should be able to age her up as soon as she gets that emotional control to um where it needs to be we can age her up so and then we can move both her and noah out of the house and yeah she's tense from needing fun but that's okay and then we'll move our twins in that we have and then once jasmine gets her goal which she does have work today at nine let me check in on her. She has, it's not, it didn't move me <laughs> over to her. There it is. It was just delayed at 9 a.m. Friday. So today. So hopefully that will be in this part. And uh, that was the one where I'll see what it is, whether we actually watch her or not. And, uh, but once she's out of the house, then I'm going to move Clark in and we're going to get him to an A student and at least two positive character values and then age him up. And then we'll have a wedding between him and Evie, hopefully, if all goes well. So she will complete that part of her <laughs> aspiration. Just she won't be in the house. Hopefully we can do this before the next set of twins is ready to age up and be out of the house. That would be my hope and goal. So thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for helping us complete our second tier of our aspiration. Okay, so we can also, over here, parenting, encourage learning about please and thank you. But I have not had any luck with encouraging learning about sorry. So she is focused. Good. And she's now charisma. She's increased her charisma skill because of that. Very good. I would have thought that would have helped her with her parenting. And I think it does. But she's at nine, so we don't have to worry about her anymore. Oh, no. She's very playful. So what is this? A brighten day. We don't need a brighten day. And you're going to come over here. And you're going to try and calm down. Now that we see that you're very playful, we're going to take turns. But he's watching the toddler. But, you know, watching the toddler doesn't really help very much. So let's see where he got there. Let's work on his his thinking a little bit. Why don't why don't we? What are you? You're inquisitive. So thinking is something that you like to learn about. So we are going to go friendly and we're going to ask flashcards for learning numbers. That's what we will do. So you're good for that. Saren, you're all done. I think you already did your homework. You did? So you're done for that. Why don't you go upstairs and um, play chess when you're done? And Noah, you are going to help Connor with his project so that he can get to, because we want him to, well, there's a div, there's a danger because neither of them have got their first tier of their mental aspiration done. So really need them to do that so that when they come home with their homework and they can do like homework and extra credit work that they get that done well focused. But it's a little bit of a, you know, it's a little iffy. Whereas with her, the most she can be is a B when she come, comes home from school. 
But with him, if he came home and we got that, there's a chance we could get him through and he wouldn't have to go back to school. But otherwise, he'll have to go to school on Monday. And there's some food on the floor, so let's pick that up. Good, we're learning there. We're doing what we need. And you are writing that book. So we will leave you for now with that. She's, she's just going to be there. She needs someone to play with her to really have it count. But Connor is busy over here working on his project. So once he's hey, done, he could go up and play. That would work. Let me see. Oh, she's not. Sorry. So why don't you come join the game? Go join that game so she can get one of those. Though the one who I need it more for is Connor. I need him to get that done. But maybe what I'll do is... They, he has to go to school pretty soon, so I don't know that we're going to get much else. Why do we have a phone call? Oh, she does. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we have any luck with that. I seem to tend to lose those contracts. Especially with the bigger households, because it's hard to keep track of <laughs> when you've done it or not. So why don't you actually encourage him for working on the school project and once he's finished you can encourage him for finishing his school project and you're helping him so he should get through it quicker there we go and then we're going to parenting encourage completing the school projects and there's probably and then why don't you actually rally the troops i don't know what your needs are i can't be bothered checking he's become playful from a joke on a roll from socialization. So you, I was going to say, you should come play this game. But you can't really play the game because Jasmine is there. Jasmine, is there anything you need to do? Hmm. Well, why don't you, Noah, just teach him. You need some fun. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to teach to say sorry. I'm sorry for <laughs> pushing when you need some fun, <laughs> but you're going to teach some sorry yourself. When do you go to work anyways? Oh, you have a lot of time. So when he goes to school, you can get your fun up really, really easily. That'll work. Okay, don't chat. Uh, let's do something more productive. Let's teach him sorry. It's this. He wants to level up in charisma skill. So, yeah, you can't do that. You can't uh, encourage him yet. You haven't gone far enough. Oh, yay. He's got to level eight of parenting. Another good reason. <laughs> Though he'll be out of the house pretty soon. Because how is Evie doing? Evie. Here, right in the somology. She's, oh, she's got all of them. We could have a birthday for her and get her out of the house <laughs> before the kids go to school. I don't think that really works because it's probably going to interfere. We'll just age her up when the kids are at school. And we won't bother. I haven't given uh, Saren a makeover, makeover in like in terms of new clothes and stuff like that. I thought her outfit she had on was kind of cute. So I, I will go in and check them all and do it. And then I'll do my normal little um, collage of the outfits and stuff. But I haven't done that yet so that I don't have that collage because I haven't done it. So so you've done all the encouraging. It's seven twelve. How are you guys with? you're finished playing so why don't you play and you can play also <laughs> there and hopefully get one game in before you go to school oh look at him look at the little micah over there playing and you go to work soon that's actually what we'll be doing and then we'll age up evie is what we'll do when she comes home from work so you're going to go take a shower. And you don't really need to take a shower. You're actually <laughs> you're actually fine. Your ideal mood is confidence. So I probably should have actually had you uh, just brush your teeth to stay confident. Oh, you're four hours already confident for that. For being the chess champion. So before we go, let's check in on... He has to go potty. But I think he's maxed his potty. And he, I think we should work a little bit more on your thinking skill. Friendly, you can do some more flashcards before uh, Jasmine has to go to work. 
so that we can get a little bit more done with you. And then when you're finished with that, <laughs> he's like, please, 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 can you teach me some, some thinking skill? I love to learn about thinking because I'm inquisitive. So she's doing that. Why don't you go and, first off, come over here and sell the publisher. And it's just excellent, so that's good. And you need some social, and you need to have a shower yourself. So why don't you come over here and take a shower? I'm missing Minnie now, and of course, with taking Clark into the house, we're not actually going to be able to. We're actually going to rally the troops just as it's a good way to like get him to start talking and hopefully working on his social. So they are busy. Why don't you go over here and play? Why don't you practice the piano? Probably should have had her practicing her acting instead. But I don't know that we're going to... We'll see. Maybe I will just have her work off camera and then come back so we can age up Evie in this part. And she's about to go to school. So I will be back once we are completed the work thing for Jasmine. Because I would like to... Um, I'm going to go with her. But uh, I'd like to show Evie's birthday in this part. So I'm going to take Jasmine to work and be back with the results of what happens with it. So that doesn't seem to be a commercial acting gig. It was the same thing she did the other day. So her gold that she did get did not count as gold. Saren didn't come home with a B, maybe because we were at work. So it didn't, the uh, lot trait perhaps didn't count because she had done everything I would have thought and would have normally done that would have given it a B. Except for I did forget to tell her to work hard. But Connor is an A student now. So she made 1300 I just started a club gathering. We are going to have her like sign up for another open edition. Maybe we'll switch her agency if we can. We're going to hire a new acting agency. So we're going to go for this well-suited talent agency. And hope we get better jobs. So then we're going to check open auditions. And Noah goes to work. And let's just check with Evie that everything is still A-OK. -okay. She's got all of her things that she needs. So she's going to come over here and we're going to blow out the candles. Well, these are different at least. So we're going to try this. We're going to go for the guitar level one because that was something we have. So we're going to do that and we're going to hope that's going to be the one. And it's Monday at 9 a.m. that she gets it. <laughs> Definitely a mistake doing it this way. It would have been better for her to get to like level three of the drama club because it would have been significantly quicker than doing this. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to check, check this one. And we're waiting for Evie to get over here because then I can move them out. So that in the next part, we have our toddlers in the house, our twins. And then once we finally get Jasmine out, then we will move Clark in. I just kind of <laughs> want to move him in sooner rather than later, but whatever. We'll just have Jasmine for now. Not that I don't love Jasmine, but, you know, we're just kind of playing a waiting game with her, trying to get her to get that gold, and hopefully this is an actual commercial acting gig. So let's hit play so we can watch Evie age up. There we go. We got a picture, and luckily uh, Nicholas didn't walk by. Not that it mattered because we ended up taking another picture. And there we go. She's aged up. So family oriented is going to be her adult trait. And she did get all of There we go. So you can see she's got mediator, emotional control, compassionate, good manners, and responsible. Good, good. So there we go. We have our another young adult in the house. Oh, <laughs> she's not in the singles club anymore. The singles club club. <laughs> Anyways, not that it matters. <laughs> it, it served its purpose and she's not in scouting that's fine I um so she's become an adult now she needs to do this be married to BFF but we will work on that from Clark's perspective if we can once we're able to move him in the house but we have to wait for someone else to move out before we can do that so we are going to leave this part here in the next part Evie and Noah will no longer be in the house. They will have moved out. 
And we will then have instead two new toddlers, two new toddler twins in the house. But that's going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.